Posey. Hey, Posey, come on, off you go. Jane and I moved over to the UK about a year ago. I, uh, I brought all my cameras, my lights with, assuming that I could just carry on like I had been for the last 20 odd years, taking photographs uh, in South Africa. I mean, a man of all my talent and all my experience, who wouldn't want me as a photographer? Well, how wrong was I? And uh, a year down the line, the phone hasn't been quite ringing off the hook. Uh, I, I thought to myself, well, I've got to do something with my time. I started doing a few odd jobs around the local village as a, as a local handyman. And uh, one of my clients, Tim, who's a really lacquer oak, approached me and said, Mike, you know, I'm a, I'm a keen astronomer. I've got this hell of a big telescope sitting in my lounge. Can I build him an observatory, you know, something that he can put in his, his field and uh, he can have a dedicated spot for this telescope? I said to him, Tim, I'm your man. I know all about observatories and uh, I'll design you a beautiful observatory. So this is what I did. We uh, went online, uh, downloaded a few software programs and came up with a, quite a cool design and, and Tim really, really liked it. And he's given me the go ahead. So I found myself in the middle of the English countryside, sitting in Tim's barn, building him an observatory. As I mentioned to you, uh, I've come up with some, uh, some nice designs for the observatory, so I thought I'd just uh, like to take, them, take you through them and give you an idea of what I'm going to be busy with for the next few months. Now, Tim and Lind have bought a beautiful old house. I think it's from the, the mid-1800s, and they've been renovating this house for the last few years, and I must say it's looking amazing. But with the renovation, uh, a lot of the old timbers and bits and bobs had to come out. And so I've got a pile of, of beautiful, beautiful timber and interesting artifacts, which I'm hopefully going to be able to build into the observatory. So to help me with the design, I did some aerial photographs of the site uh, with my drone, and then I superimposed the, de the design onto uh, these photographs, just to give me an idea of how it was going to work. And uh, yeah, it worked out quite effectively. And then in terms of the design, the main structure is going to be a lounge cum bar area and then uh, in front of that we're going to have a fire pit or lapa and then at the rear of the, the larger um, of the towers we're going to have a smaller elevated tower where the telescope would sit and uh, when Tim wanted to use his telescope he would simply slide the roof back and that would then reveal the night sky. Just to make it really difficult for myself I decided uh, that each of the, sh the structures should have a, an octagonal shape and uh, I just thought it was more interesting than just going for square or rectangles and then um, on top of the roofs I thought just as a fun design feature I'd uh, create some um, geodesic domes uh, and these wouldn't be functional they would purely be aesthetic just to give, uh, give it a, a bit of interest. Have I jumped into the deep end? Absolutely! Do I know the first thing about building a geodesic dome? Absolutely not. Uh, but I'm going to uh, keep posting videos of the build, uh, so keep a lookout. And uh, well, I think it's going to be a lot of fun.